Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic which is tell me about yourself. I'm going to discuss about how you can answer this question, especially as a QA and uh, I'm going to give you the script. What are the common mistakes that you are basically making and I'm going to give you, uh, we're going to discuss about the sample answer also in this video. All right, so make sure you watch till the end so that you are able to basically get the script and a sample answer from it. Okay, so let's jump into the video and let's get started. Awesome. So uh, first of all, guys, I want to discuss this very important topic, which is purpose of this question. This is uh, this is where people are lagging behind. Why? Whenever someone asks you, whenever any kind of uh, interviewer asks you this question that, okay, tell me about yourself. They basically want to understand what you know about the job. Are you fit for the job? How confident you are while communication, while communicating right and how you will be helpful this is really really important and uh, what i have seen people are making mistake is that uh, they are not giving the answer according to how they are fit and how they are helpful and how confident they are so if your answer lies within this you are good to go if you are basically telling about your personal life and other story other boring stuff that they don't want to listen this will basically will break your interview okay so this is a question which is which can make or break your uh it which will basically set a common tone how your interview will go ahead okay so this one you have to nail you have to nail this uh, answer about the test tell me about yourself okay so let's discuss uh what you have to tell okay first of all you have to tell them who you are that's it and trust me don't talk about the personal too much don't give too much personal information especially for the experienced people they don't want to listen your personal experience because for freshers we generally don't have much to say as experience we don't have much of experience that we want to discuss right so freshers it's okay if you are sharing couple of things related to your personal life but no uh, for especially for experienced people it's big no no okay and they want to know about what you are bringing to the table right that's it they want to know about this what uh, because i have taken more than 200 i think more than 200 interviews now with my 10 years of experience almost and uh, this the process it remains very same and i'm going to talk about how you can do that okay so let's expand this and keep voila we have the scripts okay so first of all let's see the job okay and let me check the job here okay awesome so this is the linkedin uh, let me yeah, give me one second. Yeah. Uh, so this is the job that we basically are discussing about. It's for QA engineer. It's in Bangalore, Karnataka, right? And uh, these are the uh, basically things they want. Uh, click on the show more. Right. And this is the qualification they need. They need, suppose they need two to four years experience. Uh, now, a fresher will ask, this is not a fresher job. It's very similar. It, trust me, it's very similar. Uh, they need two to four years experience uh someone who basically know java a programming language uh some of the sql any html related things selenium related things if you know good to go analytical skills right selenium exporters is preferred right okay i got the point now let's jump back to the slides pay attention to the keywords that i have basically told you right uh they are discussing agile they are saying uh uh, what are the topics that you should know? Selenium, HTML, XML, bug finding. You should be good at bug finding. Individual contributor, Java, and SQL basics. Now, you have to make your introduction in a way. This is one of the technique that we have tried many times. And trust me, this is very important technique that I basically discussed in my personal Azure Blueprint uh, course, right? This is just one-to-one -one things that I'm, right now I'm giving you for free. This is, this works very well. Okay, so now, we will modify or ever tell me about yourself according to this. Okay. Freshers, listen to this. Okay. Hi, my name is, uh, for basically you can say that I am Aman. If you, if they have already told you that, Hey Aman, how are you? And they are basically talking you about like a couple of, uh, in starting, they are saying, Hey Aman, how are you? And then don't say, hi, my name is Aman. Okay. So they, they basically know you're Aman. So you can say that, hey, uh, I have done my BTEC in CSC uh, with 8.6 GPA, say numbers, okay? I have done my software testing internship. Now you have to modify 
couple of things because uh, as a fresher also if you are applying for that job right you should be fit for the job i told you again fit for the job you have to to become a fit you have to include any internship experience or any weekend project you can also say that uh, i have done some weekend projects weekend project basically means you have basically tried out couple of things by your own and now you have added these all the things in your github profile and they are available they are in a public domain people can see it that you have basically done some of the work cool awesome so you can say that i have done my software testing internship with xyz company where i was responsible for maintaining the test now you are basically telling that i was the one i was the one that's that's how basically i'm talking about i was responsible for maintaining the test scripts for like selenium and, and was handling the ci cd i was a part of agile team keyword keyword uh sprints where i basically help team to maintain about the test data test scripts and other things i love to share my the testing related concepts i have a blog where basically uh, have a blog where i share about the software testing related things and basically it gets like 5000 people per month basically read about my blog right so this is just a number give you uh, to some your accomplishment right notice the thing now note this is important you are basically talking about your internship or the any weekend project that you have done freshers pay attention numbers you are talking numbers that i was i have like 8 cgpa i was part of this this i have my blog is important this is your accomplishment that you are talking about how you are fit for the internship or any job how you were fit for internship basically means in previously what you have done uh how you can helpful in the next company you are you will be helpful because you are part of selenium project agile project test data management test scripts they exactly they want they you, you avoid what you need to avoid uh generally pressure freshers add these thing i am very hard for hard working in nature i have this uh, uh problems i have my personal life the blah 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 don't that don't that nobody want to listen this trust me a uh, keywords you don't know keyword you don't know basically means uh, generally uh, fresher will tell you okay i i basically know about java and spring boot i i have worked on the uh, spring boot too but whenever the, uh, so next question trust me it will be related to the uh, spring boot so if you don't know the don't mention as well as it in the keyword section for the job that you are applying there is no one nowhere mentioned you need to know spring boot okay don't mention it but if you don't have anything to say please mention it okay uh jump five times before the technique which basically means uh have excited be make sure you are excited when you are saying it tell me about yourself i have seen this, this is the life example this is a personal example that i have seen this is how fresher says they are very much nervous hi my name is pramod and i have been so don't be get bored from this okay be excited you are nail you are coming uh you are basically nail this trust me you will do that but you just jump and have a some interesting thing okay you are basically killing it now for experienced person uh, this is one of the video i will highly recommend all of you to watch it i will link in we will give this link uh, link is available here now for fresh i think for experienced for, for experienced person is very very easy uh you can say that okay hi i have been into industry for more than sir, more than 2 plus years of now i am very much comfortable in java programming language selenium as well as, as well as i am i was responsible for maintaining my test automation framework with over 10000 test cases i am well versed with the full software testing life cycle where i have been part of test planning designing and other things i was a part of agile team where we basically work in sprints i was a part of daily stand up scrums and uh, in my free time i love to play games writing blog about software testing i'm looking for a low role where i can contribute as a individual contributor in your automation scripts part of the release ci cd and can be a great contributor to your team right now notice the things what you have said you have said no fluffy background you are no basically not ink not uh, saying any fluffy things you are matching and fitting for the job you are basically including keywords right you are matching correctly you are increasing your credibility by saying the numbers that i have told you right uh, you are basically saying that i have done this 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 selenium agile other things and all everything you had included and trust me this is very short this is one important thing so concept you should you don't know please don't include 
uh, if you are for example if you are comfortable in java performance testing there's nowhere mentioned in the uh, profile that you need to know performance testing right so you can say that i have worked on it but but that's it that's it say the things you want to say and you should want to discuss for example this is one of the technique that i have tried is uh, you need to mention only the things that you want to discuss for example i'll discuss about selenium agile sprints ci cd jenkins github that's it and uh, because i want the question next questions which will basically come related to these topics only okay avoid telling about your project if it is not relevant this is one of the important technique that i have tried and i have told my students also uh, if this profile basically doesn't say about any performance testing don't say don't say it will be unrelatable and people will be uh, any interviewer will be also not excited to listen about this okay don't bore them with the too much details that i have seen personally a uh, a uh, couple of folks uh, especially to qa who are basically continuously telling about their project okay so i have done this i have done this i have done this i have done that no only important keywords only the work which is related to how you are fit how you are helpful to the job that's it that's it smile and excited this is important less than 3 minutes guys don't expand to 10 minutes experienced people please don't say your all the projects we just want to know your previous two projects how you are relevant as well as how you are important and how you are fit right now will help you will help us uh, to maintain our automation or anything right so make sure you do that uh, you can use this method which is called as ada right add a awareness interest desire and action and i think in this a script i have applied most of the things so i have basically aware about that i know this stuff uh interest i have really interesting like how you can do that desire where i want to work right and action action basically means how i will be helpful for you guys okay you can highlight your branch names if you have anything related to for example uh branch name or basically your projects okay because uh brand name basically this is not a branch or brand name sometimes it works uh basically you can say that okay i was a part of the qa team for a push crew which is a leading push notification service which 5000 companies right now using so it is accomplishment right that that he basically talking about okay uh common mistake i thought i hope this is clear right now common mistake don't speak you what you don't know very important thing don't bore them please have it it in like 3 minutes or 4 minute max 3 minutes i think that's enough avoid telling if you don't know the about the project if you don't know about the co- concept don't tell them people are not interesting in perform- personal information trust me don't include it they will only want to know how you are fit for the job that's it that's it that's it practice 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 avoid speaking without practice this is very important practice like two three times this is what i have tried also and this works well okay so i hope this is clear guys uh, this was a very short video uh, not short video i think i have given you enough of the concepts like how you can do that and last um, thing which is very important this question is basically all about your accomplishment and your proof of performance okay so make sure you highlight with numbers that's it keywords and numbers that's the game you will nail it okay Uh, anything you want to add let me know in the comments hey thanks a lot for watching this video till now if this video at the point makes sense let me know all the things are available in description so you can download it anytime okay or you can download asd.live/notes thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye